Азимут 50, высота 2000 метров, дальность 28 километров, тасовой параметр 0, скорость 250 метров в секунду, цель в зоне. Есть ход. Есть ход. Есть попадание. Russia will develop amphibious version of the Tor M2 air defense missile system. Recently, the commander of the Russian Air Defense Forces, Lieutenant General Alexander Leonid, said that Russia is preparing a new modification of the Tor M2 anti-aircraft missile system on a wheeled chassis capable of swimming through water obstacles. Russia's Tor M2 missile system can wipe out swarm of drones while on the move. Expert, the Tor M2 is designed to shield vital administrative facilities in the first echelons of ground forces against strikes by anti-radiation and cruise missiles, gliding air bombs, aircraft, helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles, Abu Dhabi, UAE. The cutting-edge Tor M2 anti-aircraft missile system is capable of wiping out drones and other complex aerial targets along the route of its movement. The engineers who developed the Tor M2 enabled it to detect complex aerial targets and shoot them down while on the move. The point is that in a real combat environment it is quite difficult to destroy a vehicle when it is on the march. However, if a surface-to-air missile system halts its movement, it is easier to destroy it, considering that there are more than enough weapons for doing that, the expert explained. The Tor M2's radar is capable of timely spotting and striking all types of drones, in particular, a swarm of small-size UAVs. The Tor M2 is designed to shield vital administrative facilities in the first echelons of ground forces against strikes by anti-radiation and cruise missiles, gliding air bombs, aircraft, helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles. The Tor air defense system can control the designated airspace on its own and independently shoot down all air targets that are not identified by the friend or foe system. The Tor M2 can fire missiles 9M331 and 9M332. The design of the missile round is similar conceptually to the much earlier 9K33 SA-8 Gecko, but with some important differences, both employing a simple tubular airframe design with a solid rocket power plant. The airframe uses cruciform canard controls for pitch, yaw control, and a revolving sleeve mounts the cruciform tail Both employing a simple tubular airframe design with a solid rocket power plant. The airframe uses cruciform canard controls for pitch, yaw control, and a revolving sleeve mounts the cruciform tail surfaces. The missile is not roll stabilized. The controls are powered by compressed air. The most significant difference in the control system is the use of nose-mounted thrust vectoring jets, used to pivot the missile to the desired azimuth and pitch angle after its vertical launch. Unlike its predecessor, this missile uses the vertical cold launch technique, with a charge ejecting the round vertically from the transport and launch canister. The proximity fuse transmits antenna is in the missile nose, which also contains the transmitter. The fuse receiver, command link receiver, and autopilot are all clustered in the center section of the missile. The warhead is situated between the guidance section and the motor. A pair of command link and beacon antennas are mounted on the tail. The Tor M2 can simultaneously engage up to 48 processed targets and 10 tracked targets. The Tor M2 can engage a target at the range from 1,000 to 12,000 meters and to an altitude from 10 to 10,000 meters. The missile launcher consists of a box container 9M334 extending down below the level of the hull top holding two groups of four ready-to-fire missiles in the vertical position. Each missile is in a maintenance-free factory sealed container launcher box. The system is reloaded by a dedicated transportation loader vehicle. The missile system can be mounted to the chassis of a wheeled vehicle MZKT-6922-6 by 6 chassis. The MZKT-6922 is semi-hardened and intended to protect the crew and systems from small arms fire, shrapnel, and spall. The new vehicle weighs 17 tons, with a maximum gross weight of 30 tons. It is powered by a 420 St. Helena pounds YAM Z7513.10 diesel, using an MZKT GMP400 transmission, delivering a road speed of 80 km per hour. The Tor M2 missile system can also be mounted on tracked chassis 9A331M. 
The vehicle suspension consists of seven dual rubber-tired road wheels on either side with the idler at the front, a drive sprocket at the rear, and four return rollers.